Welcome back everyone. In this lecture, we're gonna get an overview of the exercises for this section of the course. Then in the next lecture, we'll go through the solutions together. Let's get started with a quick overview of your exercise notebook. Okay, here I have opened the ne neural network exercises notebook. The very next notebook after this is, if you come back to ANN, it's neural network exercise solutions. So don't open up solutions yet unless you wanna go through solutions, but this lecture is just an overview explaining the exercise questions. And in the next lecture, we'll go through solutions. So a real quick important note, make sure you don't run the cells directly above the example output. Otherwise you'll end up writing over the example output. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. But basically for these exercises, we're gonna be performing a binary classification on the census income data set available from the UC Irvine Machine Learning Repository. So you can click on this link to actually kind of check out the original source of the data, but we already downloaded it for you. So make sure you use the data source that we provide for you. So here's an overview of the actual data itself. So there's an age column, sex column, education column, there's education number. So that number represents the education as an integer, so it's categorical, and will tell you whether something should be considered continuous or categorical. And you can keep going and check out, so there's a full description of the data set, so you can explore those. And at the end, um, you'll see here that there's an income label, whether or not an individual makes more than $50,000 annually, and then a label column where the income represented as an integer. So zero, less than or equal to $50,000, or one, greater than $50,000. So kind of, you have two labels. One is this kind of optional label, and then one is this label. So we performed the standard imports. We actually already filled that out for you. And we filled out the data income.csv. So if you're having trouble finding that income CSV file, just run this uh, neural network exercise notebook directly from its location, and it should load up automatically correctly. Then you can print out and explore the data frame a little bit. You can see here, we showed the value counts. And then we get into the actual tasks at hand. So what we want you to do is separate the continuous, categorical, and label columns. So you should find there's five categorical columns, two continuous columns, and one label. So for the label, be sure to use the column named label and not income. So again, as I kind of described here, there was two columns that could be considered labels. Go ahead and not bother with this income. So that shouldn't be a feature or a label. It's something you'll drop eventually. And what we're gonna be looking for is figure out uh, which of these should be categorical and continuous and then set this label column as the actual label. So that's your why. So that's task one. And here we've printed out some stuff for you. So it kind of follows along the same framework and blueprint we use during the ANN lectures. Then we want you to convert the categorical columns to category D types. Then optional, you can shuffle the data set. Technically it's already shuffled, but we decided to essentially show you a little bit of that code in case you were dealing with your own data sets that weren't shuffled and you would like to explore that a little bit. So it's kind of an optional little task. Next task is to set the embedding sizes. And you should set, get the same embedding sizes we should here. Recall that rule that if it's less than 50, it should just be half the number of features. Then we create an array of categorical values, convert those cats to a tensor, then create an array of continuous values, convert those continuous values to a tensor, create a label tensor. Then go ahead and create a train test set from the cats continuous and y. So this will look really similar to what we did in A and N. Then define the model class. So we've actually filled up a lot of this for you because essentially a lot of this is gonna be just kind of copied and pasted from the A and N lectures that we did before. So we went ahead and filled this out for you in order for you to use it since we figured you would essentially just be kind of copy and pasting. But go ahead and make sure you truly understand what each of these lines are doing and you can review the video lectures. So technically this isn't going to be a task to fill out this tabular model. Instead, we made it flexible enough for you that it should be usable for any tabular data set. So here we can see a brand new tabular data set with the census data and we can still use this same tabular model, which is really nice. All right, so go ahead and just run that. Then set the random seed, create an instance of the tabular model. You should kind of think carefully about the parameters. Then go ahead and define the loss and optimization function. Train the model, so we kind of have it set up here for you to train. And then go ahead and plot the cross entropy loss against the number of epochs. So we trained it here for 300 epochs and then evaluate it against the test set and then calculate the overall percent accuracy on that test set. So we got around 85.1% accurate or correct. So you should get that uh, kind of similar, maybe plus or minus 5% for your own test data set. And if you're using the same random slits we do, then it should be exactly the same. 
Okay, then want you to kind of practice feeding in new data through the trained model. And there's a hint here of kind of how to do it, but you can write your code here and make these inputs. This is totally optional and it's a bonus. You don't have to do that. If you feel like you kind of understood everything after you've calculated the overall percent accuracy, then you should be good to go to move on to the next section. All right, best of luck on the exercise. Coming up next, we'll go over the solutions. I'll see you there.